Hey, welcome to Maximum Bat Speed. I want to do a video here today with Aaron Judge, and I want to f specifically focus on weight transfer and not getting stuck on the backside. I get a lot of emails from coaches and parents where their children or their players have problems where they can't seem to transfer their weight off the backside. They squish the bug. They tend to get into an overload. They don't know how to get to a front side where their body is rotating off a front axis. So this video right here is going to be specifically on weight transfer and getting to the front side. So let's get started here. Now the first thing that you have to do in order to let this work correctly is make sure that your weight's in the instep of your back foot, inside of your ankle, and inside of your inner thigh. This is going to help you to post up against a firm back side and that's going to allow you to transfer your weight better to the front side so you don't get stuck on the back side, not to get into an overload. So you see here as Aaron starts to get into his negative move right here, watch what's going on here. Before he even reaches the apex of his negative move, or this gather, his back legs already stop moving. What this does for him is allows him to have a posting mechanism so his body can transfer much better as he starts to get into his forward move. So you see right here as he reaches the apex of his gather right here that he's just in a very beautiful position. In other words, if I draw some lines right here now, this is not direct opposite side batter spots view, but you can see here it's obvious that his knee is keep staying inside of his ankle where there's a gap between his knee and his foot right here so you can see right here if I draw these some uh, do this little circle right here you can see there's a gap this is what you want when you're in your apex of your gather this is going to help you to transfer your weight to the front side you must do this correctly or you're going to struggle with this particular move another thing that's going on with, with his move right here as far as he transferring his weight correctly is this as he starts to transfer his weight I want you to focus on his on his back foot right here okay now just focus right here what's going on with his back foot watch how his back foot is doing what that like the video I did of Nolan Arenado where his back foot is starting to just go in a downward manner see that it's like his pressing down and a pressing down action so what's going on right here with his foot right here because of the way he transferred the way he positioned his body earlier like I just mentioned he has a pressing mechanism going downward this allows his body to be moving immediately to in this direction to the front side in other words when players do not load up correctly they get into the overload where the back knee the back hip and the back shoulder get too far back therefore creating problems with timing creating problems with the way the body transfers to the front side so again watch what's going on with the back foot you can see here and this is crucial how he's pressing down see that that pressing down this is very important for you as a player to understand that in other words what happens with many players is this if play, when players do not allow themselves to do this instead of the foot moving in this direction right here where the you're going to see in a second what I'm referring to where the toe is right here and the heel starts to move in this direction you see players at the, play, the back of the heel starts moving in this direction in other words squishing the bug squishing the bug you don't want to do that you want to have your foot going more in this direction now watch what's going on here as he put, does that pressing action you can see now how his foot see how his foot is going in this direction right here not in this direction now when you start squishing the bug when you get stuck in the back like that that creates a lot of problems as far as your hips being able to rotate to the maximum now watch what's going on right here with everything I just mentioned prior as far as the setup and that pressing action watch what's going on right here as he gets into his heel plant and this is again crucial for you to get to a wonderful to a great front axis you're going to have to keep your knee inside of your ankle just like you did from the back end therefore when you start to get into your hip rotation you start to get into your weight transfer everything stops so you can see here he's at heel plant right here and if I draw a line all the way down from his foot to his logo right here watch what's going on right Right here as he starts to swing because of that front side blocking everything just stops and then he gets into a beautiful point of contact right here and watch what's going on right here this is what I was talking about a front side axis right here you see this line right here well you're gonna see with the greatest players in the world the ones with the best rotation there is no gap between that red line and the belt buckle they're hitting off a of front axis now watch what's going on right here Again, I'm going to slow this down for you. Gets into heel plant right here. Watch where that logo is with that red line. And from there, everything stops and he rotates beautifully to and through the ball. Now, again, everything I just shared with you,
with you right here should help you to get to a front axis to release those hips. And the thing that you have to understand is this, that when you transfer your weight, try to get your belt buckle to face the pitcher and get off that front axis. Now I'm going to show you a drill that I do with my students that I think will help you to get to this particular angle, just like Aaron Judge is doing right here. And I do this drill with my students all the time. And I really believe it will help you. So now watch what's going on right here. Now in this particular drill right here, I learned from my, my friend Sparky Parker many years ago. And I do this use this with my students all the time. I have them just bring the arms back and just swing their arms so they can learn to get to the front side right here. Now watch what's going on. Now I'm exaggerating this move right here for particular students right here so that they can understand what it feels like just to get to the front side. So basically I set up just like if I was holding a bat in my hand I let my arms work up back and behind me so as I get into toe touch I'm almost like identical uh, that I would be if I was actually holding a bat now if I compare myself with uh, Aaron Judge right here you can see here that we both have the shoulder up and there's a very similar look between Aaron Judge and me why I'm doing this drill and that's the purpose of this drill you want to uh, simulate this drill just like you're hitting so again you can see here and this is what I would recommend for you put your hands straight out like this let yourself get into a low don't let your back knee get over your back foot and then once you get to heel plant everything should stop now in this particular drill drill here watch what's going on right here now I let myself go beyond the heel plant just for the purpose of this drill to demonstrate the weight transfer but ideally what you want to do and once you get to higher levels and once you get the player to understand that you want them to stop at this place right here but you can see here as I continue to go right here I just let myself go further just to show the student what I want them to do in regards to just letting themselves get to the front side letting the hips rotate and getting into a front axis and the front axis actually happens late in while I'm doing this drill just for the sake of doing the drill and for the sake of demonstration but once I start getting the player to get a little bit more advanced what I tell them to do I literally have them stop at heel plant right there and I put my hand right there at my palm right there by their head and I don't let them go any further and this allows the hips to rotate even quicker and faster and by that I mean this now watch what's going on right here because I allowed myself to get beyond or leaking myself too far forward watch what's going on ideally I should have stopped right here and right here if I would have stopped right there my hips would have squared up immediately but because I'm leaking forward watch how long it takes my hips to square up now this is what occurs with players who leak their load to the front side they end up getting a delay of their hips rotating rotating now this drill right here I hope it helps you just stick your hands out and just let yourself just go around like this I hope you like the video please order my video thank you so much